good morning so I am in Julian California and I am taking a zero today even though that was unplanned I need to take care of my shin splints um, and my feet and then get some uh, some supplies and everything but uh, yeah it'll be my first zero and it is absolutely beautiful here and I'm excited to check out the town and go get some free pie at mom's So last night, a bunch of us hikers stayed at Carmen's up here on the floor. Um, she was just so amazing. Uh, we all just like got a spot on the floor and you know camped out. Had a huge uh, hiker slumber party. Had some free beer and then ate some amazing burgers and yeah, I think we're gonna have some breakfast burritos here in like an hour. And yeah, it's already looking to be a great day. All right, we're going to go get some mom's pie, our free pie. Not, not from our actual moms. Not from our moms. Where's moms? Here we go. Yeah, we do. Mom's pie. Free pie for hot dogs. They've come back to ID me again. <laughs> Hey, nice cream. Some ice cream's good. It's good, okay. okay. Let's try the pie. <laughs> Also very good, yep. You approve? Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Okay, and you got your root beer. I got my hot uh, cider. I got apple crumb with cinnamon ice cream. Yeah. So, an amazing gem of a person got me a room at the Julian Lodge so that I can shower and take a zero and like sleep in a bed. And I'm so excited and so thankful because it has been one long dirty week. So here goes nothing. I just got out of the best shower in the whole entire world and I was giggling the whole time because that's how incredible it felt to stand under hot water and just scrub all the dirt away. So, solid win for today, for sure. <laughs> what did I get myself into? Hikers, one free cup of cider and one free snack bag. We're spoiled. Doing some sink laundry. Yum. Aside from the gear that I already owned, this was my first item I bought for the PCT, and it is now the first item to go. The wind really uh, got to it. Poor little guy. You were fun while you lasted. Oh, bye. Uh, ah, hi. Are you guys going up on the, the crest Yeah. Time to drop off some postcards. And now time to catch a hitch. So I'm just leaving the post office here in Julian and I'm about to try to catch a hitch by myself for the first time to head back to Scissors Crossing and to get back on trail. So wish, wish me luck. <laughs> I was just getting on trail. Look who gets out. <laughs> Ranger Randall Lasca. <laughs> just tripped.
This is very deserty. There's some new kind of cacti that I haven't seen before. It is hot. I just started. I love these trees. They look like cartoonish to me. Up I go. I am taking my first real break of the day. It is hot out here, like relentlessly hot. It's the hottest I've been. I actually just changed into my shorts right on top of this ridge line. Um, I couldn't do it anymore in my pants. Um, I'm just sweating, chugging water. Um, it's just odd because two days ago when I was on trail, I was in a wind, rain, snowstorm, freezing temperatures, shivering to the, my core, and then now I'm just sweating and overheating. Uh, and we're doing this pretty big climb, so it's, you know, it's, it's been a tough morning, but it feels good. It's, it's so beautiful out here. I did uh, 23 miles two days ago, so my zero yesterday felt really good because my right shin splint was absolutely killing me but they feel pretty good now um, I iced them last night soaked, soaked that my feet and my shins in Epsom salt massaged them elevated them so I feel good so far uh, Julian was just the coolest little town so if you're a hiker I totally recommend stopping there very hiker friendly um, a good little place to rest up if you need to take care of your body um, but I was getting a little antsy, so I'm excited to be back on trail. Um, I need to make it to Warner Springs by Monday morning, which is in two days, because I need to get some compression sleeves for my calves. And it's only about like 30 something miles, so I get to take it kind of easy the next two days, maybe do, you know, around 15 a day, you know, something like that. So I'm just gonna take my time, especially in this heat and um, hopefully not overheat, drink a lot of water. I'm definitely gonna have to fill up on water at the next water cache. I think that's in like 12 miles or so. Also, my straw hat went bye-bye. So I got this new hat, it says California, how fitting. I don't know how I feel about it yet because there's like a metal hook in the back and it's like digging into my head. And then when, when I try to loosen it, it's too loose that it keeps wanting to fly off my head, so. But it'll be good for now. I also have like a bandana I might put under it to help cover like my side of my face and my the back of my neck. But it feels good to be in shorts and I had a nice little break. So I guess I'm going to keep going. I don't know why it's going so slow. I wonder if it's sick or something. Oh. It doesn't look very good. Is that where you're gonna stay? Okay. So it is almost 1 p.m. and I think I've only done like five miles. But uh, another hiker, Dan, he's, he's from uh, BC, Canada. 
him and I have been hiking together most of the morning. And we took a long break together and actually talked and it was great. Cause it's been pretty hot. So we're going slow. I don't have a lot of mileage to cover today. So I'm just taking my time, but him and I were just talking about how much we love the desert. We can't stop stopping and taking pictures and photos. It's like the coolest plants out here. And Dan's from Canada and you know, he was talking about how he's never seen anything like this before. Um, I'm from Nevada, so you know, there's a high desert. So some of this is familiar to me, but then there's still so much that I've never seen before. And I love it. <laughs> the brown is really nostalgic for me because Nevada is pretty brown, but I think it's beautiful. And I just feel like I'm on a movie set, <laughs> but it was nice to talk to another hiker and for us to just sit there and both be in amaz amazement about all of this around us. Um, it is so beautiful that um, we're both just like trying to soak it all in and I really appreciate that about him. Also, it is official that my trail name is Starburst. So that's what everyone's been calling me. Uh, how I got that is my pack, my, and my clothing, and a lot of my gear is all very colorful. <laughs> so people started calling me Rainbow, Rainbow Bright, Crayola, and none of it was really sticking. But then another hiker named Ranger one day was like, yo, Starburst, yelled at me. And I turned, I answer, answered to it, and I just started laughing. And now everyone's been calling me Starburst. And it became official because somebody asked me who I was, and I said Starburst. So that is my trail name, y'all, Starburst. <laughs> and then another hiker who I like have known for these past few days was like, yeah, for your colorful gear, clothing, and personality. So I guess it's pretty fitting. <laughs> I like it, so Starburst it is. There's like no shade out here and it is hot, it's definitely the hottest day. So I found this little area with some shade, so I'm gonna hang out for a bit. It just kinda sucks, cause I go to drink some water, cause I'm so thirsty and my water is warm, like hot. <laughs> so you don't find much relief there, but there's a little bit of a breeze and the shade, so I might sit here for like 30 minutes, maybe even more. I don't know how uh, red my face is. Not from the sun, just from being hot. My skin does that. <laughs> so I just walked about a half mile from my last rest spot and I had to stop again. I am so hot, I, I'm actually having a hard time. I'm starting to feel really nauseous. So I'm just drinking more water. I found it's not really shade, but it's something to lean against. Um, since I'm wearing shorts, my legs are getting fried. I keep putting sunscreen on, but I only have these small little tubes. And I just like don't have enough. So there's some patches that are starting to really hurt. So I'm trying to give them a break from the sun, but I can't put pants on right now. So I think I'm gonna uh, try to pick up like a big spray bottle of something, of sunscreen, so I can wear shorts uh, more often, but I really wanna like take care of my skin. So that's what's happening now. Um, yeah, I'm just hot. Like I said, having kind of a rough time, but you know, I'm hoping that it starts to cool down in a bit. I looked at the weather and 
it's still going to be hot for a couple more hours, but I still have to do about six miles, so I might just chill here for a bit since I am feeling sick. But here's my view. I just came from over here. Trail art at its finest. I've never been so thankful of the clouds covering the sun. Thankfully, it got a little overcast so that I could keep hiking. Feels much better out here. The temperatures dropped a bit. I mean, it's still warm, but I was finally able to eat a pro bar. I've been nauseous, so it felt really good to eat something. And the clouds covering the sun is like a dream come true at this moment because I needed to keep hiking. But yeah, same old brown scenery, but I love it, doesn't get old to me. This way to Wata. Trail angels are the best. A ton of water and then like little first aid kits for like your feet or something. Foot care box. Oh man. Thank you, trail angels. So I am sitting down at the water cache uh, around mile 91 and a half, I think. Even though the, the water cache is kind of far off the trail. It's like a little mini hike of its own. Um, today, I think I did about around 14 miles. Um, not bad for starting kind of late. It was really hot, so it was probably my most challenging day, actually. Um, there was a point when I got like super nauseous and uh, dizzy, and I just felt weak. And I kept walking, and then like my foot would like slide kind of like like off the side of the, the little cliff and so I was just feeling like I had no energy and it wasn't really safe so I stopped and you know took a lot of breaks and um, as I was coming into camp I started to get a really bad headache so I am de dehydrated so I'm trying to chug a lot of water now and then I'm going to fill up my water and I should be hopefully good but yeah it's not a bad day I have I think 18 miles to go tomorrow until I get to Warner Springs and yeah, so I'm gonna try to wake up early and do a few hours at least um, in the cool. There's a pretty big climb out of this um, area. I think it's a couple thousand feet at least, something like that. Um, so I definitely wanna do that before the sun gets out. Anyway, um, that's it for day eight. Feels good to be back on trail after having uh, zero. And yeah, I'm just excited to keep going and seeing everything. Anyway, have a good night, everybody. Hope you're doing well, bye.